All right, Lily here with Jesse Vargas, two division world champ. Jesse, yeah, like he said earlier, you could be a very big disruptor here for Mikey's future plans. Now, you had a huge fight against La Sorrita Soto at the forum. How do you feel now? I know they were talking a little bit about inactivity. He's also been inactive for a couple months. How do you feel? Well, thank you. You know, I think that I have everything to uh, come out victorious uh, February 29th. But, you know, Mike is a good fighter. He's uh, very talented himself, uh, very technical, uh, plenty of experience. But we're in a similar position, him and I, you know, because I'm also very, very athletic and I'm very... Uh, you know, I'm very versatile, technical, and not only that, but I have plenty of experience myself. And that's the reason why I think that this fight is a fan pleaser, you know, where the fight fans are really going to enjoy this style and fight. And um, I hope they don't miss it on February 29th uh, from the Dallas, from Dallas, Texas, uh, televised on, uh, streamed on The Zone, live on The Zone. And uh, we have uh, everything to make it a fight of the year candidate. Does it kind of bother you that people are seeing you as the underdog, even though you're the one that has been in this division longer than he has? No, no, not at all. I mean, um, if I'm the underdog, it's cool. Uh, the way I see it is that uh, when I'm the underdog, you know, I always come and give uh, a better fight, and a lot of times I pull out the shocker. You know, I mean, that's how I became world champion once. That's how I became world champion the second time. And uh, maybe I'll become world champion in the same position. Who knows? But my plan is to be victorious and to prove everyone who I am once again and show them what I'm about. Now, you were campaigning at 154. There was rumors about a possible fight with Jaime Munguia. Should you, you know, get the victory against Mikey, do you want to stay at welterweight or do you want to go back to campaigning at 154 and then possibly get a title there? Um... I think that uh, 147 is the mark for this fight. And then after this, you know, we'll, we'll uh, look forward to the future. I'll sit down with my team and I'll talk with them to see what's the further plans. What is your angle going to be against Mikey Garcia? Because he's very well at adapting as well. And, and we know that, obviously, most people knew he had a lot. He took more than he could chew against Spence. Now, you are more of a style that he, people will probably like because that's more toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What's going to be your angle? Are you going to want to give the people that fight, that toe-to-toe -to -toe fight, or are you going to be a little bit smarter and try to not get into his fight? I think that, um, you know, styles make fights, and I just have to make sure that I uh, prepare properly for Mikey Garcia. He, um, <sighs> Let's see. When it comes to styles, I have to be the faster and use the faster fighter, stronger fighter, and make sure that I use every advantage uh, to my to to be successful in this fight. You've been doing some commentating as well. Personally, I love your Spanish to zone commentary. You. It's like way better than the English one, like well, way better. You. So good job with that. Are you planning on maybe after you retire going into the the commentating? aspect of uh, inboxing you know that's that's further along the lines but yeah definitely it's something that um, catches my attention i think that's something that um i do well apparently from the fight fans i mean i always look at the feedback you know whether it's positive or negative i use the negative is positive and the positive you know i i feed off of that to continue uh, getting better at what i do uh first of all inside the ring as a fighter and second of all as a commentator you know i uh, try and give them um, my honest truth, you know, sometimes it's brutal truth, but, you know, I, I think that they respect it. And um, being a commentator, it is something that I will be doing along the lines uh, in the future. But uh, for now, my main priority is fighting and giving my fight fans the best fights out there and becoming pound for pound best. Um, but on my off time, I'll do it sometime. All right. What do you think it takes for you to be in the top pound for pound best? You do have two draws. You want to go back and, you know, especially the one that we saw on the zone with Delorme. Do you want to kind of go back and get that, you know, redemption in a way? I or? think redemption is Manny Pacquiao. You oh. know, the defeat I had to Manny Pacquiao. Um, I've learned a lot since that fight. Now it's about coming out victorious here and then maybe later uh, trying the rematch with Pacquiao. I mean, he looked pretty scary against Thurman. Did that kind of motivate you to be like, you know what, I, I think I'm better than... Then they're gonna have a better style against Manny. Keep Did mind, you kind of keep in mind that I fought him once already? Yeah. You know, so uh, we we were matched up to in a very competitive fight, very close fight. But um, you know, a second fight, I feel that um, I caused him problems, just like I did the first fight. I mean, it was a close fight the first one. I'm pretty sure a fight you would also like would be against Bradley, but that's long gone since you almost had him in that 12th round. You never, you never wanted to, but it's all good. You know, uh, we look forward to the future. <laughs> All right, Jesse, send the message to your fans. We know February 29th, just on what can we expect? Of course. Well, thank you for all the support. Uh, you know, thank you for all the love. And tune into this fight February 29th. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. On the zone from.
Dallas, Texas. All right, thank you so much, Jesse.